I'm grateful that uh, on the weekend you allocated some time uh, for this very uh, noble cause. Yes, of course, Alan is right. When, uh, <clears throat> when 7th of July incidents happened, there were four uh, suicide bombs. Uh, and then on 21st of July, there were some four other failed suicide bombs. Uh, I don't want to get into the politics of that. Nonetheless, four people from our masjid. <laughs> and we had, we were in, uh, in uh, great difficulty at that time because 40 people were arrested just from this uh, locality. And you can imagine how much pressure the uh, intelligence agencies, the police and the government would have uh, put us under. There were 40 people arrested here. And four of them, now they, they, have, been, uh, they have been arrested. They were failed suicide bombers. They were arrested and they, they have been imprisoned for 40 years each. The problem is that the authorities, they allowed that to happen in some shape or form. This is what the investigation report is. The authorities were fully aware of those people. The mosque, half a second is sitting here, we signed the letter. Is that right, Maulana? Yes. We signed the letter, we warned the authorities because these guys are attacking us. Our Shah Hazrat Mawlana Khajar Khan Muhammad Sahib Dhamad, Rahmatullah Alayhi, he was sitting in that room, our spiritual Shah. And 50 people came and they tried to take over this center. And they attacked Mawlana Dangin as well. They attacked me. Umar, where is Umar? Umar was only 10 years old then. Here is Umar. This bearded guy, the, the old man now. He was only 10 years old. One of the guys said, better you tell your dad to behave, otherwise we'll chop your head off. 10 year old boy, my dear brothers. So we have been through great difficulties. It isn't that Khatman Bo's center has been just uh, sleeping away. No, Alhamdulillah, we have been working with the various uh, sects of Islam. We have been working with various parts of the community, with, with various faiths. And Alhamdulillah very effectively. But we had a difficulty. We had a difficulty with the charity commission as well. But Alhamdulillah, Summa Alhamdulillah, praise be to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, with the guidance and support and du'as of our elders, this center has been approved by the charity commission as Khatman Bo Center now, Alhamdulillah. Our constitution even has been approved with the name of Khatman Bo Center, Alhamdulillah. They were told, they're telling us that we were going out of our uh, trust deeds, remit. We were not following the objective, so you cannot run the mosque. Alhamdulillah, summa alhamdulillah, we have approved this mosque as well with the charity commission. So it isn't that the trustees are just sitting there idle, not doing anything, but it's a very difficult environment nowadays. Media will just pick up something, like two years ago, BBC reported something, oh, Khatman Bo Center is promoting Kill Ahmadiyya. We do not promote or condone any kind of violence. We do not support these kind of ideas at all. We are very peaceful people. Our ulama, our Islamic scholars, our staff, our trustees, our communities, our mosques, they promote peace and harmony. This is what Islam is all about, my dear brothers. But somehow, and I must emphasize on this point. Media is colluding with Ahmadiyyas. Ahmadiyya is providing them with wrong information. And media takes it and just runs with it. In 2011, BBC came to us. And they said, we have found these, we have been given these pamphlets. Where you have been promoting violence and you have you've been telling the communities, kill Ahmadiyyas. So I gave my interview to media. I told them there is no address of Khatam and Booth Center on this thing. There is no mention of our charity's name. And BBC dropped that entire charge. In 2016, again, the same leaflets. Ahmadiyya gave these leaflets again to BBC. And tried to demonize the belief of finality of prophethood tried to 
to scare those people who are working on the belief of Khatma Nabuat. Alan knows about it. We, we have informed our friends living in the locality. We will not get scared, no matter who comes in front of us while we are promoting and preaching our belief of finality of prophethood. That is our fundamental belief and there will be no compromise on that. 